Howdy guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this looks pretty interesting to you then please keep on watching. First of all I start off by blocking out my eyebrows so basic glue stick technique then I'm going over with a Merin Cream Blend foundation and blocking that completely. I am setting that with the Australis pressed powder and then once that is nice and set with powder I go in with a Ben Nye blue cream colour plus a Cryolan white cream colour blended together and I just draw the basic shape of the Queen of Hearts. Now I'm channeling the new Queen of Hearts from the new Alice in Wonderland movie and the makeup looks pretty simple but fucking hell it was pretty hard like especially the eyebrows getting them even. A nice small wing um, which I'm not used to again this took a lot of restraint. I then took these sugar peel lashes, painted them with black body paint and they were nice, long and wispy which was perfect for this look. I then took the white jumbo pencil in Milk by NYX Professional Makeup and then I lined my lower waterline with the black vinyl liquid liner from NYX also. I then cleaned my face and reapplied a Merin Cream Blend foundation all over with my Beauty Blender. And then I took the white cream blend stick from Merin also and put that on my high points. Exaggerating the sharpness towards my chin because she's got a heart shaped face. I then set that really well using baby powder. And then I contoured with the NYX Cosmetics Contour Palette. She had some weird shaped nostrils so I just painted them in with a liquid liner and also exaggerated my nostrils with the contour palette also. I then blocked out the, my colour on my lips um, just with a bit of foundation, really chiseled out that lower jawline with the contour palette and then I drew in some heart shaped lips with some red body paint. I had a couple of reference pictures for her outfit. Um, it was pretty hard to see the detail work so I kind of just went for it. Just looked at the basic colouring, basic shapes and I drew that in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and now I'm painting everything with Merin Paradise Paints and Tag Body Paints. Then outlined all of the detail work with a black body paint and a very tiny detailed brush. And then I shaded in some detail work into the collar with some black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This one is corrupt. To make my chin look even pointier, I took some black body paint and just painted along my jawline and then I blacked out my shoulders and around the costume. And this gave the illusion of me having an extremely large head and a little body. 
I also didn't want to use a wig for this, so I'm just taking some orange body paint and some red body paint, and I'm just painting in a devil's peak, is that what it's called, that little pointy thing, where your little horn pointy thing, and I just made a crown out of some cardboard and bobby pin that into the top of my head, and I continued with the body paint, so yeah, just using the Marin Paradise paints and also the tag body paint. And this is it. This is my spin on the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I highly doubted myself when I'd finished this look. Um, just because the face was simply sick, not something that I'm used to, but I was happy with the body paint. And yeah, got some really cool comments, really nice feedback from you all. So I thought that I would edit it and show you how I created this. So guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel got some really cool shit coming up share it around give me a thumbs up any comments or any questions regarding this makeup comment in the box below thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon bye